Hi guys, Random here. Back with a bit more World of Warships. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. Hmm, the key. And if you look here, it's got a little clock. Yeah, this ship is rented. And will be removed after the rental period expires. In two days. Uh, you get uh, three days in total. Uh, if you purchase uh, an item of clothing from the uh, Wargaming store, they send you a little card uh, that's got a code on it and it gives you a three day rental of the battleship key. Now, I was looking fairly carefully because um, I've got you know quite a few doubloons there and I was looking at the tech tree and I was thinking oh, you know, what shall I get? Shall I get the key? Shall I get the Otago? Um, you know you might remember me talking about this in another video uh, what was the other one I was looking at? The Alabama there um, so I was kind of um and ah in about which one to get and uh, I had a look at the uh, well I got an email um, from Wargaming saying yada 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 uh, have a look at our store and I was like alright then let's have a look and I saw a couple of things in there I liked um, yeah so I thought oh that's quite good yeah We'll, uh, we'll have a look at those, yeah, they're nice, and, oh, what's this, oh, if I buy this particular t-shirt I'm looking at, I get this code. So that's the story of how the key came to be in my port. Um, it's, it's useful because, although I've had this uh, code for probably about six, seven weeks now, um, I've not really had time to take advantage of all three days but this weekend I have so yeah let's look at the key so battleship key tier 8 premium Imperial Japanese Navy battleship has 68,200 hit points and uh, yeah a reasonably uh, reasonably good armor layout if we look here 292 there on the armor belt which isn't bad. Uh, deck plating's not too bad at 30 till mi uh, 32 mil even. Let's have a look inside. You'll see the uh, the Citadel bulkhead there. It's a Japanese ship, so yeah, um, it's kind of to be expected, really. You know, if you go side on, you're going to pay. Um, but it's not a bad armor profile. Front of the turret's quite good. They're yeah, not, yeah. So as long as you keep the uh, the turrets pointed towards the enemy, uh, which ideally you would be because you'll be shooting at them, um, then you've got reasonably good turret survivability there. Uh, the torpedo damage reduction is 25%, which isn't terrible. Um, you know, there are other battleships with more, but 25% yeah, is okay. Um, main battery, you have five twin mounted 410 millimeter guns so they're quite nice yes uh, it's nice to have them in five separate turrets you'll see we've got two at the front and three at the rear so you're going to be quite good at kiting and yes they are torpedoes um, torpedoes as we're looking at them six kilometers 63 knots two triple launch 610 mil um, they're not bad, 90 second reload, they're kind of self-defense weapons if something's got really close. Uh, don't know what the arc is like, we'll have a look at that, but um, yeah, the reload time, 90 seconds, 14,600 damage, yeah, they're pretty good. Pretty good if somebody has got too close. Anyway, back to the guns. We have a uh, 12,600 max AP damage, 6,500 max HE damage, 30% fire chance. Uh, the reload is 31 seconds, so it's a little bit, little bit slow. You know, it's a second slower than your standard 30. But um, yeah, it's not going to be too bad. Uh, the captain's got adrenaline rush, so you know, we take a few hits. That will soon drop down. Uh, the secondary armament, we have eight twin-mounted 100mm guns, which uh, fire out to 6 kilometers, 1700 max HE damage, and 6% fire chance, and eight single-mounted 140mm casemates there, 
um, 2700 max AP shooting out six kilometers so yeah they're not bad they're not bad any yeah I mean basically if something gets in secondary range you can look at using your torpedoes so use them as a bit of a uh, shall we say a guide yeah guides not a bad word uh, if your secondaries are going then mm, can you fire your torps uh, torpedoes we've looked at there anti-air defense rating of 95 which is pretty good uh, the captain there you see we have got uh, let's have a, a quick look this is my Fuso captain uh, so you'll see here he has got uh, direction center for catapult aircraft so you get two catapult aircraft up um, adrenaline rush basic firing training and advanced firing training so yeah that gives the, uh, the AA a nice little bump there uh, the AA guns we have 3.7 kilometers with 124 DPS, 4.2 kilometers with 211 DPS, and 6 kilometers with 200 DPS. It's safe to say that if you get near this in a plane, you're going to suffer. Um, the AA suite on this is very good, very good indeed. Um, Maneuverability wise, 29.5 knot max speed, turning circle of 880, mm, it's a tier 8 battleship, it's kind of where it should be really, and a rudder shift of a miserable 15.9 seconds, I don't know, battleships they just seem to take forever to turn, but uh, I don't know, plan ahead I suppose. Concealment wise, detectability 17.3, obviously if you fire your guns that goes out to your max distance of 19.4. Uh, 13.7 by air, 2 kilometer proxy spot, and if you're in smoke, 17.5 after you fire your guns. So that is the key. So I have got, as I say, my uh, Fuso captain in there. Um, so let's give him a little bump. Let's uh, get the extra 3 XP, the extra commander XP. I'm not too worried about the ship XP because well it's a uh, premium and as you know with premiums there are no upgrades so yeah uh, we do have the uh, spotting aircraft which we can change out for a fighter um, interesting do I want to change it out for a fighter I'm gonna leave it as a standard spot I'm gonna leave the standard repair party uh, and I'm going to take a damage control party because why wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. The upgrade wise, you can fit concealment and target acquisition mods. Uh, I would probably go for uh, this one target acquisition. Um, and yeah, I would do that over concealment. Because concealment, although it takes 10% off, which is. Uh, 1.73 kilometers uh, so that'd take it down to about 15 and a half which is, is decent um, I'd rather see stuff because of the, uh, the turning circle and rudder shift so I'd probably go for that one um, I'd probably go for steering gear mod 2 try and decrease the rudder shift off of there on this one I would probably go for AA mod 2 to extend the distance um, you could possibly go for aiming system mod 1 uh, the dispersion is 224 meters um, at max distance but I've not tried the guns yet so yeah it'd be a toss up for me between AA mod 2 or aiming system mod 1 uh, I've got uh, damage con mod 1 there I would think and in the first slot I would probably go here now this is damage control party mod 1 which gives you a 40% uh, longer DCP um, mm, interesting it would be a, a switch for me at the moment between that that is one of the uh, modules you get out of a super container um, if you haven't got that I would probably go Orcs Armament Mod 1 personally but you know each to their own as they say right let's go into battle 
and let's see if the key unlocks a victory boom boom yeah I know I'll get my coat um yeah so first battle in the key I'm interested to see how she handles what the guns are like um is it fun if I have fun in it it's worth getting if I don't then maybe not so yeah let's have a look tier 8 match obviously let's see if we're bottom mid or top I would imagine probably probably top tier tier 9 tier 10 probably in randoms so let's have a look anytime you like game it's thinking about it okay uh, oh we got a bot in there right tier 7s tier 8s tier 9s oh well it's not too bad I suppose but not bottom tier mid tier game so it's going to be a, a fair uh, give us a fair assessment I would think we have got our little spotter plane there look it's not a biplane either hmm interesting right Pull her forwards and let's see how we go. Uh, we do have a destroyer. A, is that a Harry? Yep. Harakaze. So, hmm. Good destroyer. So we're going to have to be a little bit wary. Maybe uh, deploy the spotting plane if we get spotted. Start making jukes and jibes moving the ship around left to right so right first of all gun arc what are you like you're not bad actually so there is there just there is our broadside angle that's pretty good torpedo angle wow way better than I thought it would be I thought it would be from about here, maybe. But no, you can virtually fire them forwards. That's impressive. Okay. Should really load up the armor piercing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we have got a Musashi behind us. So, yeah. Got to be a bit careful. And we do have oh, a, a Ranger. Hmm. Tier 7, isn't it? Yeah, Tier 7. Carrier. So I'd be interested to see how their planes fare against our anti-air. Right, um, we've got stuff going on here. May as well stick the plane up. Uh, that Myoko is a good, good distance away from us. Where are our shells? Are they? Yeah, there they are. Uh, oh dear. That didn't go well, did it? I shot an island. I would like to say, for the record, I am not islandist. Um, <laughs> that was a case of mistaken identity. I thought that island was actually a ship. But, you know, reasons. Right. Okay, let's. Let's keep going in to see. Uh, we do have the ships here. We've got the Algerie over there. We've got these here. Now, I don't know. My speed is pretty good. That Izumo would be a lovely target if we can get a shot on him. But no, it's saying that the island's in the way. Again with the key and the Bismarck. What about that Izumo? Are we going to get round here? We might be able to get round, you know. Yeah, maybe. If we can just hurry along a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of where we are now. Right, so he's seven seconds out. I'm going to shoot about there. Hope that we don't hit the islands. And we must have hit it with a couple of the guns, but... Yeah, five grand. It's 
It's not terrible, I guess. Nobody's aiming at me at the moment, I don't think. That Izumo doesn't seem to be. So we might be able to get another set into him. Seven seconds out. Let's try about there. Right, we've capped. Always nice to cap when you're in a uh, battleship, you know. Sweet, 16,000 damage there. So the guns are okay on this. Yeah, he, he's getting a bit interested in me now. Let's see how we do with the key. Uh, he's, he's sort of turning in. Um, but he's gonna he's gonna ground himself there, isn't he? He is. Let's wait for him to do that, and then we'll we'll shoot. Are you gonna ground yourself? It looks like it. You beaching? Uh, I want to fire my guns, but I want to wait for him. Okay, it looks like he's pulled out of that. So let's. Let's fire the front guns and let's think about aiming at something else. Uh, yeah, we did get a hit on him there. We've got this Bismarck here, uh, probably Darish, I think. Looks like um, maybe we're getting some attention here from the carrier. So let's highlight his torp bombers, see how many we can shoot down. We've got one so far. Uh, two, three, it's going to drop, he is going to drop. We're in a turn though, so mm, can we at least take it on the belt? Two. And... Yeah, we did okay there. We managed to uh, only take two. I say two, but... Wow, Summit just absolutely nuked me there. Um, yeah, I'm going to repair. Um, I don't know what that was that shot me. Probably the Izumog. I'm thinking... So let's see if we can get our guns round and return the favour. We might be lucky. Nice Citadel there. Don't know if we got uh, Citadel damage though, because it only came up as 5,000, but interesting. Yeah, the gun turn speed on this is, is actually quite un-Japanese. Um, I would have expected a slower turret traverse, but they don't seem too bad. You know, they're not... <laughs> we're not talking Akazuki quick here, but um, it's doing okay. So what's our, uh, our reload now on the guns? Uh, 31 second is standard. So we've got the Izumo there. Uh, he's going to be... Kind of onto us there. 25 seconds, 26 second reload. That's not bad. Yeah, another four grand off of the Ismo. With any luck, we should be able to uh, make ourselves a little more neutral to it. And bullets are back in the barrel. So let's. Send them down range. Might have just underdone that, yeah. But that's okay. Let's go neutral to it. So we're doing okay. I mean, 55k damage at the moment. Yeah, I'd like to have seen more, but it's okay. It's doing all right. You know, our guns are. Uh, our guns are reasonably good. Dispersion's kind of all over the show, but it's not too bad. Right, now then, we have the key over there, which is virtually dead. 
and the carrier which is over here so let's go sail this way we should be able to pick up some extra uh, extra stuff here Uh, our spot is up in 30 seconds, so that will give us a bit more range. Here we go, we're in the cat, so we'll pick up a cheeky assist ribbon here. And then we'll see if our spotter helps uh, by chucking it up in the air. We might get the range to hit that carrier if we can see it. Obviously we're detected there. Oh, we have got the range, but we can't see it. Hmm. Okay. If somebody else can spot it, and we can hit it, that would be grand. The uh, Musashi there is becoming the object of affection for that carrier. Okay, so Mr. Ranger, where are you? So yeah, we've got, um, we're not doing bad, 33 hits, uh, one cat, one... Right, the Ranger has just gone behind the island. So, let's... Let's keep going this way, actually. Let's not change direction. Because I think the ranger has gone this way. He's over here at the moment. So we should be able to see him very shortly. Uh, we've got uh, some torpedoes coming in. So let's click on. We might be able to yeah, we'll pick one off. And another one. Nice. Just keep plugging away at those. Yep. You can hear the AA going there. So let's see if we can shoot down some of those before they take my uh, spotting plane away. Oh, that's nice. We managed to pick up a lovely little bunch of. Uh, Pew pews on the planes there. So I'm going to go for uh, going round this island. And yeah, we're picking up bomber kills and, and what, what we've done at the moment 17 planes, 18 planes now. Let's see if we can pick some more off. 19, 20. That's not bad, you know. That isn't bad. I think that Musashi is going to burn. Rip Musashi. So now I am the closest to the carrier. And that means the carrier will be coming for me. So I need to delete this carrier on the hurry up. Which way are you going? You're going that way. Yeah, like seven seconds out, so maybe there. Let's see. Uh, maybe a bit too far. Could have aimed that better. Right, you're coming towards me, so let's see if we can uh, zap a few bombers as they come in. Ah, oh, they look good. Nice. Well done, carrier. Let's see if we can add to the uh, the problems the ranger is having. Oh, we can, but yeah, they're not very good, are they? Uh, getting through uh, armor, 1600, that's probably the end of that. No, wow. Picked off another plane there. I'm really quite impressed with the anti-air on this. Let's, nope. Did we get to a thousand? We might have got to a thousand points there. Uh, right, okay. 
63,646 damage, 38 target hits, 24 planes. I like the AA. Um, one sunk boat, one citadel, two defend ribbons, one capture, one assisting capture. 178,991 credits, 1,675 XP, 336 free XP. Let's have a look at the team score. Not bad. Do you know what? That ranger, I know he, he was a bot, but um, that ranger did quite well. Um, the top spot for humans <laughs> would be me. Um, I'm, I'm not disappointed with that. I'm actually quite impressed, especially with the AA. Yeah, we took down 10 torque bombers, 9 uh, dive bombers, and 5 fighters. And we only used um, armour-piercing shells, so we didn't use uh, any high explosive. Hmm. Interesting. Let's have a look at the take-home. 126,453 in the bank, which is lovely, and uh, 2,094 Captain XP. So, that is the key. That is the key. Um, obviously I'm going to play a few more games in her and uh, see how I get on um, I think after that first game I think it's quite a fun ship um, I'd like to get in a little bit closer with some cruisers and see what I can do um, you know with my main battery um, and not have the, the long range dispersion pattern see what it's like up close and uh, yeah so I'm going to play a few more games in her um, let me know your thoughts on the key yeah, do you like her have you got her would you recommend her if you've got her uh, I've got a few more days to play with her and make my mind up but if you already do have her you probably already got an opinion you know are we talking buyers remorse here or are we pleased with the purchase let me know so you know the drill guys, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see then uh, why not subscribe, don't forget to tick the little bell icon on every channel you subscribe to and that will make sure you get uh, notifications in your sub box when a video comes out. If you enjoyed what you saw then uh, the old like button loves a little tickle. Um, <laughs> it, it, I mean, the way YouTube works, it works on interactions, so the longer you watch for, if you comment, if you like, dislike, uh, if you add it to a playlist, if you, I don't know, share it, um, all of those count as interactions and that helps push videos into suggested items in people's uh, feeds. So you're helping your creators out quite a lot by uh, by doing that so yeah if you if you feel the video was worth it then please do anyway i think that's quite enough from me for now so thank you ever so much for watching guys but uh, it's captain random signing off see you again in the next one